Hi there. You know where I am? This is an outdoor education lab school. This one here is run by a school district. In this case, the school district of Jefferson County, Colorado. You know what's sad is that this isn't commonplace, right? There's not an outdoor education lab school in every school district in the country. Why is that? Well, I think it's up to us to advocate that environmental education is fundamental to not only education, but to the greater society. Well, what do I mean by that? Well, in our interconnected 21st century world, it's more important than ever that we think about the hydrosphere, the atmosphere, the lithosphere under our feet, uh, the geosphere, and the anthrosphere, the human imprint, the human impact on the landscape in all of our decision making from local to global. And that's because all of the essential issues of our time have an environmental and a geographic component. For example, natural hazards, water quality, uh, population changes, uh, the ocean health, uh, all kinds of things uh, related to the environment, again, at different scales and at different processes and at different time periods. So some things act on a very short time frame like water quality changes or wildfire or the current hurricane going on on the East Coast, while other changes are more gradual, let's say a slow moving landslide like the one we've got over here in western Colorado, or uh, subtle changes in soil moisture over time, or uh, the movement of glaciers, for example. Uh, so some things are even longer time periods than that, like the, the uh, sort of the, the evolving landscape in this area, the, the gradual erosion of river valleys in the uplift of mountains. Anyway, the point is, is that the students up here are studying all kinds of things, ranging from archery to, which is where they learn about physics and fluid mechanics and things like that, uh, to geology, to hydrology, and it's also hydrology that's related to human impact. So, for example, where does this lab school get its water from? Where does it dispose of its water? How can it maintain a good, healthy relationship with the environment? So, the students up here are really learning about not just the physical environment, but also their role in the environment and how they can make better decisions uh, in the future uh, for ourselves, for our children, for our grandchildren, etc. So, advocate for outdoor education in, in society. It's very important that we do that. Thanks.